Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Gradage and welcome to 5515 Kensington Creek in the Kensington Creek community. It's beautifully built by Taylor Morrison located in Cumming, Georgia. And we're touring this five bed, four bath today. Uh, we're going to be looking at all of the beauties in it. This is the Aiken floor plan that rounds out a 3,190 square feet along with a two car garage. Remember to like and subscribe. we're introduced to the formal dining area and you can tell that this space easily seats 12 individuals it is a very large room that has double paned windows that are low e windows and when i say low e what do i mean by that it helps make the window more thermally efficient it helps to save you money it's insulated with a non-toxic coating that reflects heat back into the home in the winter and to the outside in the summer Immediately across from the dining room is a private office area. They've added two doors to, uh, to this room and you can always check with the builder if these doors are standard or if you can add like a sliding, a sliding door or like a barn style door. There's also two windows that brings in tons of natural light in the space. I think that lighting tends to open up a space and makes it feel more roomier and airier. Do you guys think the same? Let me know in the comments below. Wow, look at this great room. I can imagine these ceilings are about 20 feet tall. And this fireplace, what do you guys think? I think this is a beautiful fireplace with the marble on the front of the fireplace. And these ceilings, absolutely amazing with windows that complement the entire area. So you have windows on the lower section and windows on the upper section to bring in, bring in that natural light. and. Taking a look at the fireplace, a closer look. This is truly a work of art. I love how they brought some color in here, which kind of creates depth to the space. Lots of windows that opens up to the back of this house and into the kitchen area. So you have this great view from the kitchen into the great room. So of course, if you're entertaining, you're not closed off from all the entertainment. And that's the reason why an open floor plan is such a trend in new construction these days. And I think what Taylor Morrison has done is that they've extended the modern design throughout this entire home as you'll see in this video. There's an additional eating area just off the kitchen and crown molding throughout the entire main level. In the kitchen here, there is beautiful chocolate brown cabinets. I love the sleek design of these cabinetry and also the Aaron bone tile that is here. The pattern is a great mix where you have a dark and light. And I think that just flows beautifully throughout this kitchen space. What do you guys think about that? I know a lot of people love shaker design. However, I think the clean lines and the clean look of the cabinetry is also very complimentary. just off the kitchen is your pantry. This is more like a, sort of like a semi butler's pantry. So you have a little space there that you can do some shelving and then also walk into this main pantry area. I do believe it's a good size. You can certainly walk in. It's not more like a closet space. It's, it's a true walk-in pantry. A very large island here with a very large sink. You could certainly get quite a bit done on this kitchen counter on this island and also what they've done is extended the dual tone chocolate and white from the kitchen to the kitchen island the staircase rails are also a very modern look a lot of builders sometimes tend to add sheet rock and drywall and it kind of closes off the space from upstairs to downstairs but in this floor plan, what Taylor Morrison has done is that they've added rails and rails tends to, of course, there is a safety feature there because the rails protects you on the staircase. 
But also what it does is these rails also opens up the space and make it feel very light and very airy. You also have some additional storage space here underneath the staircase. And this goes way back. I didn't want to get inside this space because it probably would have been awkward to get back out and try to give you guys a good view of it with the camera. So I didn't go all the way into that storage area. On the main level is our half bath. And I would say that this is a good size half bath. A lot of times what I find is that sometimes the half bath is underneath the staircase and it kind of, because the staircase slants up, then of course the half bath has this slanted overhead and they've separated that where this is, that was more so like a true half bath versus and not having that slanted overhead. A utility closet on this end. And remember guys, this is a five bed, four bath. And so we're entering the first of the five. These rooms are large and spacious. And one thing that I also have to add is that Taylor Morrison has so many great community features. They're bringing in a pool, they're bringing in a cabana. There's also gonna be walking trails and play areas, a fire pit, and several other landscaped gathering spaces. So you'll be able to walk around in the community and enjoy all these spaces as members of the community. Here we are at bedroom number one. Isn't this a large room? I think so. What are you guys' thoughts? A great size bathroom. The toilet room is separated from this bathroom area, which is very nice because you can close off that toilet space. The shower is decked with that marble style finish. Very pretty. Modern cabinetry with granite countertops. And the accessories here, I would say are very nice also. I like the idea of being able to access the bathroom and not having to leave the bedroom. So I would say this is more so like a main master or one of a mass. It's, it's not necessarily the master, but this is, you could consider this a second master. Let's say you have family members or parents that are living with you that cannot take the flight up and down, this would be a great option to have a full bedroom on the main level with a full bathroom. Along with a very big closet.
this floor plan has a two car garage. Now, whether there is a third car garage option, I'm not quite sure. And I think in my next video, I'll, I'll be able to share that information. But if you go with your agent, if you're looking at this video and you go with your agent, you may be a person that wants a third car garage. So this would be a great opportunity to work with your realtor and see if there is an option to add a third garage. Let's head on upstairs, guys, and take a look at the upstairs that features three additional bedrooms, the fourth being the master. Gone are the days when the bedrooms, the kids' bedrooms or additional bedrooms were close to the maps master. Nowadays, how builders have these homes constructed, you have different wings. Whether the master is on the west wing or the east wing, it's just completely separated from the other rooms and that gives the master suite and members of the master suite quite a bit of privacy. Rooms. I really see where this builder has decided to just carry the lighting throughout this home by installing several windows and the consistency of the design with the cabinetry, the color cabinetry, the, the neutral tones throughout the home. also have a private bathroom here which is so cool and a good size closet Kensington Creek sits in a very attractive location with great neighborhood features they're just five minutes drive to coming town center it's also very close to Sawney Mountain Preserve you are also just around the corner, perhaps about 10 to 15 minutes from Gibbs Gardens. It's directly on the Big Creek Greenway. And you're so, so much closer to areas for shopping and dining like Avalon or Halcyon or the collections. And there are so many other top rated parks that is within driving distance of Kensington Creek. up into bedroom number three and I like the idea of connecting a bedroom here which they did with between bedrooms number three and four and so it's more so like a Jack and Jill bedroom it's in the middle of the top area and they've also added the bathroom in the middle so that way both if you're on both sides it doesn't matter you can conveniently enter the bed the bathroom without having to leave the bedroom or stepping outside of the bedroom you can easily access the bathroom from the bedroom
still a lot of opportunities and a lot of incentives if you're a first time home buyer or if this is your second home, their interest rates are also very attractive. So this would be a great opportunity. Get with your realtor if you're looking for a new home. The Forsyth County area is a great area to start your, your home journey. It's growing. It's one of the fastest growing counties in all of the United States. There's a lot of growth and there's a lot of opportunity here. There's also a laundry room on the top floor, which it makes it very convenient because the laundry room is, is, is located or situated or sits or sets right in the middle of all the bedrooms. So, you know, whatever end you're at, you know, the laundry is upstairs and not having to run upstairs and downstairs if the laundry space was downstairs. Now, welcome. To the master suite isn't this gorgeous i love the tray ceilings in here tons of light with these extremely large windows and this is just such a marvelous and attractive room it's very big and spacious could you see yourself living here let me know in the comments Again, I mentioned the consistency of the, uh, the earth tone colors and the, the, that uh, Taylor Morrison has. And they've brought all this throughout all the bathrooms. I think the sleek and modern design truly adds a very nice touch to each of the bathrooms. And again, an extremely large closet. Did I say large? an extremely large closet. This is truly a master retreat. Could you see yourself retreating here? Drop a comment and let me know. Here are some additional features that are included with the Kensington Creek package. They've also installed a second generation ring video doorbell. Um, there are other smart features and smart installations such as a smart thermostats and electronic front door lock. So they've actually made these things standard as a part of the new build, which is a really cool addition. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And remember, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, hope this helps.